Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about KiCad 6's new text replacement variables, what they are and how they work. If you're interested, stay tuned. All right, so in KiCad 6.0, they've introduced this text replacement variables, which basically allows you to create a set of variables, give them a value, and then reference them within any place where you're referencing text. It uses a special markup um, so that it knows that you're referencing a variable and not something else. And that markup for variables is dollar sign and then the brackets. Pretty simple. Um, however, there are some additional markups. Um, if you choose text and just click on one of your schematics, you'll see this new text help. If you click that, these are all of the new markups that are available. You have a superscript, you've got subscripting, you've got an overbar, so you can do a not condition. This is how you display a variable. Um, you know, you can reference additional fields um, within the, the, the symbol itself, like value. So pretty cool stuff. It's certainly the start of something uh, that could grow and become very powerful. I have played around with this. Um, I've tried to do some math within it, etc. It didn't work, but it does allow encapsulation. So you can do something here. In fact, let me just show you. So if you want to create a variable, this is a little bit hidden. You go under schematic setup and you choose variables and you can add or delete one. If you click add, you delete it. We'll just call this test. Uh, we'll say this is a test and we'll say OK. So now we've got a variable in this project called test. Now if I want to, let's say, put it on the page, we saw the syntax, right? I want to say, oh, and here we also see all of the built-in, the globals. These are the global variables you also have access to. Typically these are values you'll see like on the page, uh, this page setup for the schematic. Um, I'll show you those in a second if you've never seen them before. But there's test. So now if I double click test, and now I should get this is a test. And I do. Now watch this though. This is kind of cool. If we go hit E to go back and edit it, let's say I want to make it a not condition. Uh, we'll go tilde, I believe that was it. If you don't remember, you can do the help. And over bar, yep. So then we'll basically nest this and we can get an overbar on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've not been able to do any math with it. Um, that might be neat in the future because then you can get into almost like a parameter, parameterized design. Um, let me just quickly show you those other pieces, those page settings. So these were referencing those, those global variables. If you type in, you know, let's say you've got your company, you've got a standardized template or something, and you want Stuart Patterson, now you can basically go in and say, you know, oh, let's do this. And then you got to go company, and that should say Stuart Patterson. There you go. So that's all there is to it. Certainly a cool feature. Um, I think it's going to make doing documentation certainly easier, at least in this rev. And if we see them doing additional things, maybe the ability to have um, math functions in there, maybe the ability to allow other areas to reference those uh, variables, that also could be kind of cool. Um, all right, so with that, you've learned something new today, and uh, I wish you the best. If you haven't subscribed, consider it. Thank you.